Okay, so you've been thinking about living in Toronto or even the greater Toronto area. In today's video, I'm going to talk about five pros and five cons that you really want to think about when you're moving into the Toronto area. And I'm going to get into that right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Nasira Jamal and I'm a realtor right here in the Toronto area. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to learn everything there is to know about working, living, playing, eating, sleeping, and even the pros and cons of living in Toronto, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn your notification on so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Honestly, I get calls all the time from people that are moving into the area and I absolutely love it. So if you are thinking of moving here or relocating here, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, give me a call or you can even send a pigeon carrier whatever it takes I've got your back when you're moving into the Toronto area so in this video I'm going to talk about five things I absolutely love about Toronto and five things that I could do without now let's jump right into it the first one is the number of things or the number of activities that you can do in the Toronto area you've got the Scotia Bank Arena this is the home for Toronto Raptors as well as the Toronto Maple Leafs so if you're a sport enthusiast this you will love because it'll be in your backyard the other things that you really um, will love and enjoy about Toronto is uh, you know you can have things like the Science Center the CN Tower the Ripley's Aquarium you have the Toronto Islands there's also a Toronto Island Airport you see when you're living in the hub of the city like Toronto you have access to so many things not just in terms of um, shows and uh, different cinemas and things like this but you also have a great amount of green space one of our favorite parks is called High Park uh, when my son was one actually we did his first birthday there for a hundred people It was a beautiful picnic and it is some one of the highlights of really living in Toronto is High Park and especially if you like the outdoors um, this is a great place to have picnics go for a walk uh, just take it all in the con to this is really uh, the amount of traffic it generates. So if you live in Toronto, of course, you've got all of the internal traffic, but you've got people coming into the city. You've got a lot of tourism. You've got people coming from surrounding neighborhoods because the, um, the GTA encompasses a lot of the other neighborhoods, which I'll get into in another video. But, um, you know, you've got a lot of people coming into the city. So traffic can be a mess. The thing to do is really monitor in terms of what times you're traveling. If you're going by car, uh, try and not go on peak hours just to eliminate some of that waiting time in gridlock. And um, there's also, you know, you can use public transportation if you're going to a show or a sporting game or uh, you're, you're trying to get the sights in. There's definitely good transportation. So really, there's all of these things that you can do and access if you're living in Toronto. So the second thing that I absolutely love about Toronto is the transit system. We're one of the world's best transit system. And so what that will mean for you if you're uh, moving into the area is the ease of accessibility and just moving around the city. Now we have trams, trains, subways, buses. So you can see that, you know, there's different ways of getting around. Uh, we also have what's called the Pearson Express train, which uh, takes you right from Union Station to the airport, uh, which is the international airport. Now, we also have a Toronto Island airport for some of the shorter haul flights. But if you're looking at getting into the international airport, which is Pearson, it's really easy to hop on a train um, and get there very, very quickly. So the con to this is that really the pricing for transit is a little bit higher. You're looking at probably about $260 a month. But uh, what that really helps is to keep the transit system in good shape. Um, it also allows for growth and expansion, meaning when they're adding uh, the different stations. So, you know, there is a bit of a higher price tag if uh, you're using the transit system, but you are getting state of the art, you know, world's best uh, transportation system that will allow you to move around the city really, really quickly and easily. So the third thing that I absolutely love about Toronto is the weather. We get to experience all four seasons. And what I mean by that is you do get your uh, spring, summer, fall, and winter uh, seasonal temperatures. 
you do get um, a fair amount of snow. So if you're like, um, you know, some of my friends who love skiing and like the outdoors, I don't, um, you know, you can actually get a lot of that um, in our winter months. And in the summers, really, it's a beautiful place to be because we've got the lake, we've got a lot of the, um, you know, there's beaches in the area and we've got lots of things to do outdoors. The uh, thing I love about um, Toronto is Ash. Bridges Bay, which is a beach area, actually played uh, beach volleyball there for a number of years and loved it. So if you're uh, into the summer sports, then you've also got that. There's boating. We've got a marina. Uh, there's lots to do in terms of the different seasons. The con to this is you are going to see just more people uh, because we are also a tourist hub. The uh, numbers of people that are coming in to enjoy the different things in the city does mean that you're going to have a lot more, um, you know, just population, just numbers of people trying to do things, trying to get places, trying to buy tickets. So you just have to keep that in mind. But our weather is something that really does, um, you know, bring us different things to do. Now, because we're close to the lake, Lake Ontario, uh, you will find that it's slightly cooler in the summer if you're in this area and slightly a few few degrees warmer in the winter so again you know if you are an outdoorsy person there's lots to do and enjoy even in uh, winters and summers so uh, that is something that I absolutely love about Toronto okay number four should really probably in my opinion be number one but being the foodie that I am I absolutely love uh, the amount of food options you can get in Toronto. Because of the diverse nature of the city, we have access to so many different kinds of foods, different ethnic backgrounds, and this just makes everything so much better when you're in Toronto. We have Little Italy, we have Chinatown, Little India, there's a place, uh, the Danforth is all for Greek cuisines. So really, if you are one of these uh, types of people like myself who loves food, then you're going to love Toronto because you're going to get a lot of choices. The con to this is just that eating out can be a little bit more pricey if you're right in the city. So, you know, you can go for uh, between for a couple, you can go between $50 to well over $150, uh, depending on where you're dining. But uh, there's also some economical ways as well to experience the different cuisines. Uh, we have the food trucks and depending on the weather, you'll be able to get some of those. And um, there's just different ways to experience the different cuisine. But I would highly suggest if you're coming to Toronto that you definitely want to check out these places where you'll be able to experience the true culture and the diversity that Toronto offers. I absolutely love it. And the fifth thing that I absolutely love about Toronto is the multicultural diversity that is in the city. Honestly, this is one of the best things when you come into Toronto. You get to meet different types of people from different walks of life, and you can really um, learn about different cultures and all of the things that go with it. So, uh, you know, we have over 140 different languages spoken. We have over 230 different ethnic backgrounds. And it makes for a place where you can really dive in and become a community of um, people that grow together, work together, building communities together. And it's a very beautiful place to be uh, when you're looking at the multiculturalism. We, are, we were named actually back in 2016 as uh, the most diverse by BBC uh, Radio. And again, the diversity is just, um, I think it's a, it's a highlight for our city and it does really bring a very unique flavor. Uh, the con to this, I really don't see a con except if you are, you know, um, not looking at integrating and not sort of looking at other people's uh, culture backgrounds and, and just sort of getting to know them. But really, I feel like this is such a, um, a, a beautiful way of bringing people together and building communities that just are inclusive. So this is a great place to be. And um, Toronto is one of my favorite places in all in all of the world and i've traveled quite a bit so i go downtown a lot um for different things but i love being in the hustle and bustle so, so if you're thinking of moving to toronto or in the surrounding area of the gta and you want to either get some more information or go see some places different neighborhoods then you got to give me a call you can either email me text me call me heck you can even send a 
pigeon carrier. However you want to get a hold of me, I've got your back when you're moving into the Toronto area. Until the next time, I'm going to see you in the next video.